friends today we are going to discuss about characteristic impedance image impedance and propagation constant for a two port network let us see a two port network shown in the figure let it, one one dash is the input port and two two dash is the output port and the port voltages are v1 and v2 and we are terminating the input port with the set i1 similarly the output port is set i2 that is the impedance at the input and output port so let us define the image impedance that is image here set i means image impedance so set i1 means image impedance at the port 1 and set i2 is the image impedance at the port 2 so the image impedance set i1 and set i2 of a two port network are two values of impedance such that if the port 11 dash of the network is terminated in set 11 set set i1 the input impedance of the port 22 dash is set i2 similarly if the port 22 dash is terminated in set i2 then the input impedance of the port 11 dash is set i1 that is the definition of image impedance that means if we are terminated the input port with the set i1 then the corresponding output impedance is called the image impedance of that input impedance similarly if you are terminating the output impedance by set i2 then the corresponding input impedance obtained at the input terminals is called the image impedance of that set i2 that is the relation so we are terminating input side with one impedance then what will be the impedance that is obtained at the output terminals that is the image impedance of this input impedance okay so here we are notating set i1 and set i2 that are called the image impedance and we can represent this image impedance in terms of the ABCD parameter. So the input impedance that is the input image impedance set I1 equal to A Z I2 plus B C Z I2 plus D. Similarly at the output side we can write the image impedance as set I2 equal to D Z I1 plus B divided by C Z I1 plus A C. In doing the problems you will be given by set I1 or set I2. So you have to find out the other unknown quantity. Okay. So, if you are considering a symmetrical network, you know that in the case of symmetrical network, there is a relation that is, in the case of symmetrical network, Z11 equal to Z22. In the case of symmetrical network, image impedances will become equal. And such type of impedance, whenever the image impedances are equal, then that impedance is called characteristic impedance or iterative impedance so in the case of symmetrical network image impedance has got the name characteristic impedance or iterative impedance see here we have this relationship and in the case of symmetrical network we can write set i1 equal to root a b by c d similarly uh, set i2 will be equal to root b d by a c and if the network are symmetrical then a will become equal to d so set i1 will be equal to z i2 equal to root b by c that means this represents the, the, the uh, case of symmetrical network. Okay. So in the case of symmetrical network, both the image impedances will become equal. Then that impedance is called a characteristic impedance. So in the case if the symmetrical network impedance transformation, in the case of symmetrical network, the impedance transformation ratio is unity. Suppose we are terminating the input side by an impedance set del. So in the case of symmetrical network, the output impedance will be Z del itself because the both the image impedances are equal so in that case image transformation impedance transformation ratio will become 1 and similarly image parameter do not completely define a network so in order to represent a particular network suppose we are taking the symmetrical network image parameter is sufficient to describe that network but uh, there are different types of networks such as reciprocal networks. In such cases, image parameter is uh, not sufficient to describe that network. In that case, we are using another parameter that is symmetrical, um, that is called image transfer constant which is represented by phi. So in the case of symmetrical network, we know that image impedance is set i1 equal to z i2. But in the case of reciprocal network, we need another parameter which is called image transfer constant that is phi. That means phi will be equal to log i1 by i2 that will be equal to gamma where gamma is called propagation constant. So the image transfer constant or propagation constant is necessary to describe a symmetrical reciprocal network uh, along with the image impedance parameter. Okay, That's all about this topic. Thank you.